What is going on y'all? This is your boy Keith. And for those of you who tuned into this video, just a word of caution, this is not gonna be your typical fragrance review type video. I'm more or less gonna be talking about a little bit of injustice that has been done to somebody in Fragcom. I normally don't speak out on a lot of this stuff, but I think it's high time that some of us do, especially uh, if this is supposed to be a tight-knit community as people say um it sickened me when i heard this happen to somebody and i had to it just was weighing heavy on my heart and i feel like i need to say something about it so for those of you who don't want to stick around for this i understand there are going to be people who are going to thumbs down this video there are going to be some negative comments but I take it for what it is. My skin is a lot thicker than it used to be when I first got into Fragcom. So with that being said, you've been warned. Stay tuned. So welcome back. So as I was saying in the opening of this video, there's been a travesty that happened to someone and as minuscule as this may be to some people, I feel like it happens a lot and it gets swept under the rug for lack of a better word. Um, so this, well, it's off the screen now. So this young man, his channel is called Honest Fragrance Review. And I don't know if you guys can see that clearly. I tried to focus in on it with my camera, but um, you need to go check out his channel. So the last video I watched from him, it says, uh, which one was it? It was, let me see if I can find it. Cause that's not the one I was just looking at. Okay, this is it right here. So it says, getting banned from Dua, airing out my perspective. And my understanding after watching this video, and I'm not gonna try to quote everything he said word for word, but from what I got from his video is that maybe he was in a Facebook group or something that was all about Dua fragrances and he just voiced his opinion about Dua fragrances as of lately. And I'm assuming he was saying that the quality of Dua fragrances has diminished because they pump out so many fragrances so fast. And some butthurt people in that group, I guess they didn't like what he said. And he's either outed from that Facebook group about Dua or Dua doesn't want to mess with him anymore or something to that effect, whatever the case may be. Now, I like Dua fragrances. My absolute favorite fragrance from the house of Dua is Casino Royal Nights. And I have it right here. I also received, I think, maybe one or two from the actual Dua company itself. And then I had, I think, a subscriber sent me one or two maybe and i may have ordered one online i'm not sure but i have five here next to me um now i don't know as of recent what do is doing with their fragrances and how things are because i besides these five i don't have anything else from dua i don't have anything new i don't have anything recent i have casino royal nights i have tartness of vanilla i have Hypnotizing Venom. I have Aqua Bravada. And I have Desire 2. So those other bottles that you see Dua has now, the bigger style bottle, I don't have anything from any of that, that particular line. Or I don't even have anything beyond, like I said, what I have here. 
And what I have here, all of these fragrances are phenomenal. They're fantastic. Now, I can't speak for performance on anything beyond what I've just shown you. I can't. With that being said, everybody's entitled to their opinion about anything. And for people to get butt hurt by it, by this man speaking up or voicing his opinion about Dua fragrances, that's pathetic for people to feel like that and oust, out you from a group or a company like Dua or Alexandria or whoever the company may be stops dealing with you because you voice your honest, true opinion. That's one of the main reasons why I personally don't indulge in a lot of them Facebook groups. Every last Facebook group that I personally was in, I got out of because these, some of these groups are turning into cults or occults or however you want to say it. And I'm not with that kind of stuff. I don't feel that strongly about one particular house or brand that I'm going to kill for that company. I'm not doing that. If I like a fragrance or a certain note in a fragrance or, you know, whatever in general, then that's cool. But I don't feel that strongly about fragrance that I'm going to like attack anybody who doesn't like what I like. We all have our picks and chooses on what we like. There are specific car brands that certain people like, and that's cool. If you like Teslas, fine. I have no issue with that. I happen to like Teslas a lot too. I don't own one. Would I own one? Yeah. But there are people out there who see that car and they despise it. And most of the time it's somebody older uh, that is stuck in their old school ways or is somebody from this new age or new generation that doesn't understand the history of let's say cars or don't understand the history of fragrance and where fragrance came from and they're not gonna see something like a Paul Sebastian fragrance to be you know a beautiful fragrance they're not gonna see something like Versace Loam or something like that to be a beautiful fragrance they're gonna see whatever is new and that's current to them to be the new standard they're not gonna understand anything beyond that or behind that. So I just feel like for him to have been done the way he was treated is a travesty. And for somebody like Dua, if Dua is standing behind that Facebook group or whatever the case may be, then shame on Dua also. Um, it's, it's just crazy to me. I'm not one of those people who are going to go on a crusade and come on here and, and sling words and call companies this, that, and the other, but I will speak on certain things. And this is something that it just, it just felt. And now I don't know this guy from a hill of beans. I've just commented on some of his videos and I believe I subscribed to his channel a while back. He only has like what, 800 and something subs. and. I'm an avid supporter for a lot of the newbies in Fragcom. I know how it is to struggle. I know how it is to wonder if you want to continue doing this because, you know, you're not growing like you think you should. So that's one reason why I try to support a lot of these up and coming uh, YouTubers. Um, I'm not in this for fame. I'm not in this for fortune. I'm not in this to be like the OG or whatever you want to call it. That there are people ahead of me, way, way beyond me that are here for that. I'm not here for none of that. I'm here to help more or less people who may need help, people who may need guidance in Fragcom. Um, I didn't have a lot of that when I came in and for somebody to see this video and scarf their face or like really and say that to me, I didn't have that. Cause a lot of those higher ups in Fredcom, a lot of them guys don't even reach out to the smaller channels to try and say, hey man, you're doing a good job. There's, there are a handful. I can count on one hand and I only got five or four and a partial finger on this one hand. So I can say on one hand how many of the top tier reviewers have actually reached out and commented back. And I'm not talking about hit me with a thumbs up or hit me with a heart just because they like my comment in their comment section. I mean somebody who actually reached back and comments when I say something either on Instagram or I hit them up on their videos. Two of them I can name offhand 
Darian the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, and Justin Copeland. Now, there are a couple of other ones that I didn't mention, like Robes08, who has reached out several times and said something. Steven uh, from Red Adolescence, he's reached out, although I've had my quarrels with him in the past. Um, beyond that, he hasn't said anything or reached out. So that's a subject for a whole nother discussion. But for the most part, those are the main ones um, that actually reached out and you know gave me some words of encouragement to keep doing what I'm doing and they're supportive of me. Now they don't always comment, they don't always, you know, whatever, but that's fine with me. At least you know I know you were looking at my channel and you watched some of my videos. So that says a lot. And for somebody like me to have a little over 5k in subs, for somebody who's a smaller channel that's a thousand and under, maybe even fifteen hundred and under, for somebody like me to reach out and and watch their videos and give them that vote of confidence and that two thumbs up that says and means a lot to some of these people with that being said though i still feel like that situation could have been handled a whole hell of a lot better um like i said some of these facebook groups are just cults in my personal opinion and there's nothing wrong with you standing behind a brand or nothing wrong with you standing behind a specific company or a specific perfumer. Nothing wrong with that. But that does not give you the right to treat people like they're trash, like their opinion doesn't matter. That's one of the other issues I have with Fradcom is that when you speak differently about a certain thing or a product, Let's take Creed Aventus, for instance, and I used this same analogy when I was talking to my guy from um, Honest Fragrance Review. When you speak out about Creed Aventus and you say you don't think Creed Aventus is the king of any, and I've said that on several occasions, I don't feel like Creed Aventus is the king of anything, if you ask me. It smells good, yes, but I can name several other fragrances in my collection that smell just as good if not better than Creed Aventus without it even being a clone so for that to hurt somebody's feelings is ridiculous to me and the common theme is Club de Nuit Intense Man there are people out there like me who are advocates for Club de Nuit Intense Man that fragrance every time I put it on I get a compliment I have worn Creed Aventus on many occasions and never got a comment compliment from it. And it happens with fragrances. Sometimes some people just don't find you approachable. Sometimes it's just your body chemistry doesn't mesh it well, doesn't mesh well with a certain fragrance and it doesn't smell the same as it smells on somebody else. I get that. But when you speak in the same sentence or breath of Creed Aventus with Club De Nui Intense Man, People get offended. Club De Nui Intense Man for certain people is a, an amazing fragrance. Despite what people say about it smelling like lemon scented pledge and all this other stuff that they say about the fragrance. I don't get mad when people say that and I see that. I just, you know, scoff it off a little bit and keep it moving because that's their opinion. Because I can spray it on right now and walk outside my door and I guarantee you before I get to my vehicle, if there's somebody outside, I promise you somebody's going to say I smell good. And that has happened to me on many occasions with that fragrance. So for people to shun this guy because he said what he said about dual fragrances is it's ridiculous to me. I really don't give two craps about any of those Facebook groups because, like I said, it's just not for me. Facebook itself is not for me. I'm an Instagram advocate, if you ask me. The platform is a lot better. You don't have as many restrictions, although I think that's changing also because I think they're one and the same, Facebook and Instagram. But Instagram gives you a little bit more freedom to do things that you can't do on Facebook. But, um... Yeah, it just sickens me, man. That And another thing is I told him that if I was him, I wouldn't have gave an explanation for any of that. He did a whole video and explained why he said what he said or whatever the case may be. I wouldn't have did none of that. 
Because I don't care about what other people think about me. It just is what it is. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I know people are going to hate this video. A lot of people are going to thumbs down this video. There's going to be a lot of negative comments in this video in the comment section. But it just is what it is, man. I mean, that's the problem with society today is that we sit back and we allow all this injustice to happen to people. It could be a fight going on right outside my door and there are 20 people gonna walk past or just stand outside and watch instead of calling the police or going over there and trying to break it up and say, hey man, y'all chill out, man. Go on about y'all business. They'll step right over them or walk around them and let them continuously by outside about to kill each other. Nobody cares. Well, I care. This is not gonna be a common theme for me to be speaking out on all the travesties because a lot of people are gonna say, well, it ain't none of my business. It is our business. If we're supposed to be a tight knit community, as people keep saying, we're supposed to be such and such and so and so and this, that and the other. This community can be so much better than what it actually is if people would stick together and not stab each other in the back every time somebody you know, does something or says something that you that goes against the grain. Case in point, I watched a video from Ashton from Gentsense. Uh, it's been months ago now, maybe a year ago now. And he spoke out about, I believe it was Fragrance X. And I think he used to be like an advocate for Fragrance X. And it's so weird the narrative behind some of these companies on how they don't want to have a negative comment or they don't want a certain narrative to be spoken about them as a company if you stand behind your product it shouldn't matter what other people think if you see something that said negative about your product then you should fix that issue or at, at the least Look into the issue if there's one there and correct it and then go about your business. That's one reason why I like a lot of those uh, independent companies because these companies will send us samples and I've never asked for a bottle of anything. I've asked for samples. Now, if they choose to send me a bottle of something, that's cool. But these companies, they send us samples. We review them, whether they're good, bad, whatever. Kevin Hope is a prime example. The first time I ever got something that didn't smell good from Kevin Hope, I reached out to Kevin after I made my video and I voiced my opinion and Kev hit me back and he said, hey man, I think I know what happened. I think I left out a molecule. I'll fix it and I'll send you out a whole nother bottle. And that's what Kevin did. He went back to the drawing board. He figured out what exactly happened, what step he missed. He fixed it. He got me another bottle out in the discussion. But these so-called other companies, they would much rather just say, hey, man, that's just one needle in the haystack. We're not going to worry about him having his issue. Or if you have an issue with shipping, a bottle came in broken or a defective atomizer or something, and you can't even get some of these companies to even answer for customer service. So, like, I, it's just weird to me, these companies. So what I was saying was, Ashton said he used to be an advocate for Fragrance X. And he said that Fragrance X, if I'm not misquoting him, used to send him almost like a script as to what he needs to be saying as bullet points or something about certain things or fragrances or whatever the case may be. How can you narrate to somebody what you're what <laughs> what they're supposed to say to you? and have that be somebody's honest opinion when it's it's not i've said this in some of my videos for any company that wants to reach out and send me something if you are not up for constructive criticism don't send me nothing period because if i don't like it or it doesn't smell good to me then that's just what i'm going to say Period. Point blank. That's just how I rock. And I understand that by me saying that, a lot of companies are not going to mess with me. I've reached out to so many other companies. And I'm not going to name the names of some of these companies because, well, it doesn't really matter. But I've reached out to so many companies. And they don't, they don't even respond back to my messages. 
So I didn't understand at first, but as I kept watching certain videos and certain reviewers, I noticed a common theme amongst a lot of them. A lot of these reviewers, they will go on here and tell you that every single fragrance they review is the most beautiful fragrance in the world. And I can call out five names off the top right now if I really wanted to, but I'm not going to do that because that's not what I'm here for. But I know that not every single fragrance is what people say it is. It's not going to be the sky, the heavens are going to open up, the sun is going to just shine through in one particular spot. There's going to be a big rainbow that comes up. Skittles are going to start falling from the rainbow. It's not like that. There is no way in God's green earth that every single fragrance that somebody reviews is the most beautiful fragrance of all time. It's just not plausible. Somewhere along the line, somebody is lying about something. And if I have to lie on camera to make people like we're fragrance reviewers have some of the most we have the most power of persuasion over our reviewer uh, over our uh subscribers because i can say that and i know a lot of people won't agree with this but i can say nautica voyage is the greatest fragrance of all time go out and get it and just about every person who has not experienced that fragrance already for themselves those people who have not experienced it will run out and go get Nautica Voyage because I said it was good. That's the kind of persuasion that we have. And I started for myself saying, I can't do that to people. I can't make people run out and spend hundreds and thousands of dollars on freight. It doesn't even have to be a niche fragrance. It can be a whole shit ton of cheapies. I can't tell people to go out and go spend all of their hard earned money on every last single fragrance that I think is the bomb, which is why I say sample for yourself. But I can't, I can't do that to people. And I see it done all the time. So, you know, with this guy saying that he feels like his personal opinion is that dual fragrances isn't what it used to be and that they're rushing themselves. He even said in the video, he doesn't hate Dua. He just feels like he thinks they're rushing putting out all these fragrances to, to keep up with everybody else in Fragcom or to keep money coming in. And it's just sad. And we've noticed that about companies like Creed. Creed has diminished a whole lot, but there are still advocates out there for Creed, for Creed fragrances. If you can't see it on video, I have a bunch of Creed fragrances up there that I love and I adore. But with the quality of those fragrances dwindling and whatever creed has going on with i guess them selling the company or doing whatever they did like i'm not going to invest my money i want the new creed cologne but i'm not going to spend that kind of money for the fragrance not to perform or to be watered down or you know what have you i'm not doing that i'm not wasting my money and i'm not going to sit here and tell people that you need to go out and get that fragrance. I'm not doing that. Unless I get it on skin, wear it for myself, then yeah, I say that. But it's just weird to me that, you know, my man got treated the way he got treated and hopefully, you know, things will get justified. And if it doesn't, my words to him is it is what it is. It's not probably gonna be the last time it's gonna happen to you. Just, you know, get tough skin, keep doing what you're doing, man and everything will work out for the best. Um, you know, I've been through a lot of dysfunctional things like that on this platform. And um, I, you know, I stand fast on what I, what I feel and what I think. Um, I don't bend bold or I don't bend, break or fold for anybody. I don't care who it is. I don't care what company it is, what perfumer, anything. If I feel like, you know, I'm in the right, or I have an opinion about something, then I'm gonna voice that, and that's just what it is. Now, I'm not gonna be, you know, silenced by anybody. That's just how I roll. I, I don't really care. I'm I'm pretty much a loner, with the exception of a handful of people that I, you know, converse with. Trey Sense of all, uh, you know, number one on the list. That's my guy. Uh, but I don't bend, bend, break, or fold for nobody. I don't care who it is. And um, 
my opinion, my voice matters just like everybody else's does. And if people don't value that, then it just is what it is. I'm going to continue to do my thing. I'm going to continue to do things the way I want to do them. And like I said, if any company doesn't want to deal with me, then that's fine. I mean, there's many other fragrance companies and independents out there who will just as much oblige than not oblige and send me out something and get that positive feedback. Or if they get negative feedback, they'll fix the problem and keep it moving. Simple as that. So I just needed to get that off my chest. Take it for what it's worth. If you like this video, if you don't like this video, that's fine with me. But I just feel like, you know, these Facebook groups, these people in these groups need to lighten up. They need to stop taking it so serious. Uh, it's not that serious. Um, you know, booting people out of the groups because they have an opinion about something that goes against what you stand for, you believe in. I mean, that's the world. And we don't always get everything that we want. So whatever the case may be, to all the newbies out there, you know, keep doing what you're doing. Don't give up. Don't let nobody silence you when you feel a certain way about something. Don't sit back and not say something because you feel like somebody's going to try to silence you or go against the grain. It's their opinion. Take it for what it's worth. Keep moving. Keep striving. And everything will be okay. With that being said, I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.